one of the top brands, whether it's makeup category, top brands at Nykaa. It's in all our 100 doors in physical retail. It is going beyond Nykaa doors in lifestyle as well as other GTMT stores. Who hasn't heard of Nykaa? It is a leading Indian beauty and personal care e-commerce company that has expanded from an online-only platform to offline stores. This move is seen as a more traditional retail strategy that aims to capitalize on the growing demand for beauty and personal care products in India. Being profitable before going public is unusual for a unicorn firm. In November 2022, precisely one year after it was listed, the stock was split with five bonus shares being given for each share held. The number of shares in circulation increased by 500% as a result. For investors who had been stockholders before the IPO, there was a lock-in period. Coincidentally, that came to an end when the bonus was paid out in November 2022. Tax repercussions made pre-IPO investors reluctant to withdraw their money. Anyhow, the stock continued its slide after the December quarter earnings. While revenue rose 33% to 1,463 crore rupees from 1,098 crore rupees in the year earlier, EBITDA is at 78.2 crore rupees and profit plunged 71% to 8.5 crore rupees from 29 crore rupees. By digging a bit deeper, we see Nykaa can no longer be categorized only as an online business. It has made significant investments in the opening of numerous offline locations and its network of 135 physical stores bring it closer to other chains with more traditional business models. And it is now attempting to gain market share in the fashion industry while maintaining a strong position in the market for beauty and personal care products. Although fashion has the potential to have far greater margins than BPC, the industry is also competitive, pricey and unstable. BPC contributed 68% while fashion contributed 25.9% of revenues in the December quarter and others including an EB2B initiative Superstore by Nykaa contributed 6.1%. According to the management, the BPC market will grow from $19 billion in 2022 to $31 billion in 2027. And the organized segment will increase from $8 billion to $19 billion. The corporation has many brand alliances, including numerous worldwide and international names. The growth projections for fashion are even more impressive. By 2027, a market valued at about $77 billion in 2022 is predicted to reach $147 billion. It is anticipated that the organized market will increase from $43 billion to $100 billion. There are brand alliances in addition to owned brands. Because of the rising interest and working capital cost caused by the physical network expansion, constructing the warehouse capacity and creating the digital infrastructure needed to run both an online and offline operation, however, there is a significant amount of policy uncertainty. The government's continued ambiguity on e-commerce laws, proposals to restrict flash sales, private labels, etc may compel Nykaa to change its business model. Analysts have reduced their stock expectations as a result of all these potential concerns and disappointing profits. Yet, according to the Bloomberg consensus, the stock might reach a valuation of 213 to 214 rupees within a year, which could represent a significant increase from the current price of 143 rupees. Overall, Nykaa's move from online to offline is seen as a smart strategy that combines the strengths of both channels. While the risk associated with offline retail cannot be ignored, the company's success in this space underscores the importance of adapting to changing customer preferences and investing in omni-channel strategies to drive growth.